dear friend. I did not expect to be writing this letter, at least not so soon. As we float, as you stare at a screen that I want to try and somehow reach through, I have my story, fear, hope, and gratitude to share. But before we begin, let's just float for a moment. The snow is leaving, melting, weeping. The mountains will keep their share, brandishing their white armor against the sun. This morning, I watched, eyes wide. I breathed the morning air. I stood half clothed, and I froze, because spring is definitely not here yet. received letters from people I love all my life. Although many are wrinkled, torn, or otherwise disheveled, I have often kept them close throughout my travels. In fact, at this moment in time, if I were to list the physical belongings I feel some emotional tie to, that list would consist of a guitar, a necklace, and these notes. sent me letters this week. Notes that made me laugh, cry, and question. You do this every week, through comments and stories. They've made me smile countless times, and I can't properly describe what they mean to me. Yet, this, this was the first time I ever held your words in my hands. That made for an altogether new and rather shaking experience. Now let me give some context. My handwriting is objectively terrible. <laughs> As a child, I never practiced. For that matter, I wasn't too interested in reading either. The written word didn't stand a chance when compared to ramshackle treehouses, my friends, or Legos. Since I was homeschooled at the time, my mother would sit me down and force me through a page of lined paper, practicing my cursive before I could go outside. A coordination issue dating back to my birth led me to grip my pencils tightly. My wrist hurt. My writing looked, and still looks, anything but smooth. And, being left-handed, I was generally fed up with the whole notion of sacrificing my time in return for an ink-stained hand. What really bothered that small row was the fear he felt at his own voice. 
But now, years and years later, I'm writing to you, writing to my closest friends, writing music, and I'm even writing a book. I would have never expected words to weave so thoroughly through the bindings of my life. Holding yours gave me clarity about why I began, what I wish, and where we can go together. could write for hours all the tales inside my mind but i know you'll understand dear i am lost with every line the reason i began exploring art is for moments like these when someone becomes a little more real when something that maybe seemed trivial once, is suddenly imbued with meaning. What I wish is to create and explore these special moments in any way possible. Why have I spent all my waking to build more within a dream? When you're here, your words beside me, speaking closer than you seem. Right now, that involves making these letters. Writing a little book about friendship, playing music for the people I love, and realizing that it was never about making something grand. It was just about pouring myself into every little thing I do, while accepting the triumph or pain that comes from that. Now, that's a lot of talk about me, when in reality it's been your words that have moved me. I hope you'll forgive a rather self-centered burst from someone who has been moved. Here are some thoughts for you, and I will read your thoughts in return. I have so many things I'd like to do with you. While this is the only occasion where I can actually send physical letters in response to yours, I'd love to create some projects in the future based off the things you send. This is no doubt something we will slowly figure out together, but it makes me unreasonably excited. If you have any questions you'd like addressed or answered to the best of my ability in a video, please feel free to send them as well. I may begin a little segment at the end of each video where I can specifically answer letters that have been asked to be read. Let me know how you would feel about that and if you'd enjoy it. This week, more than any other, has brought with it thoughts and questions for you. Here are some random ones. What is the kindest, or for that matter, most beautiful thing you've been told? In my case, it's been the endearing names that have been created for me by my friends. When you daydream, what do you most often picture? For me, it's a wash of color that's constantly changing. Thank you for becoming even more to me. Thank you for many things, and thank you for being here. Much love. Hi. At the time of recording this, I have just shot a ton of footage I haven't edited anything edited. I haven't put together this video yet, but I wanted to sit down at the end of a long day and just have a honest reflection. As a result, this is going to be incredibly fractured and I'll probably do a ton of jump cuts. I'm not entirely sure where to begin, but I'll start. 
with thank you. Thank you to everybody who sent a letter. I'll be responding to you, and I'm about to go and write out my responses. Thank you to everybody who comments on these videos and messages me and shares incredible insights, although I'm so slow at getting back to things because life has gotten incredibly busy with developing this and all the different projects that I have on hand. It has enriched my life to hear from you, and when you've supported me through the PayPal links or through buying my music on Bandcamp, you have facilitated a experience and an experiment which I had been meaning to do for a very, very long time. That experiment has been to try to make this space online a little bit more real, or to at least make that the goal and start to create things in that direction. But that's where your letters came in. Your letters this week were the first time where I was able to hold a physical part of you. And that was, that was incredible. That was indescribable, so I won't even try. But it was the perfect answer to that fear of things not being real and of things feeling like they were so staged. Right now I'm sitting inside my room talking to a camera lens, wondering which part I should stare at in order to seem the most real. I have a big light over here. I have a microphone down here and I have a light back there. But at this moment, I am being entirely me. I get to share that with you. And now I've even received physical things in response, which I've never, I've never been attached to physical belongings. We moved around all of my life. I was a military kid, and usually we were staying a year, two years, very short spans of time. Things break, and you have to leave people that you know. You have to understand that the world spins in ways that you can't control, especially in the chaos that sometimes erupts nowadays. But I think in many ways, although I didn't entirely set out to create something this way now that we're here and now that I get to experience this with you I can't say thank you enough so I will just continue blabbering on about that I'll no doubt look back at this video and say what were you saying why were you saying those things but well, I just wanted to give you an honest reaction because I was very teary-eyed before <laughs> and it just meant the world to me. So thank you. You mean the world to me. And to everybody who wrote, I will be writing back. It takes me a bit of time. And I have ordered a typewriter, a used typewriter, because I very quickly understood that everything that I will no doubt mention inside this video that I'm about to edit about my handwriting is true. And it's gotten cramped up and it's such a pain. So I'm going to slowly evolve into that. Over the last few months, I've gotten the chance to rummage through all of my different eclectic hobbies and the things that I always try to pursue all at the same time, everything now. That is the story of my life. However, rummaging through them, I have found that a big uniting force behind them is writing. And I had never considered myself a writer. I never once sat down and said, I am a writer. I always said, hey, I'll write or I'll put together something in this specific case. Yet, now, I don't know. It's been incredible to explore all of these different letters that I get to write to you. Living in a rather isolated place, although I, I'm getting to know the community over here, and there are beautiful people to be found, and so many wonderful points of human connection, I have also relied a lot on writing to the people that I care about in other countries, and writing to my closest friends. That has been incredible. That has pushed me to love in ways that I haven't loved before. That has pushed me to become a different sort of listener um, than I was before. And you have been a big part of that as well. Writing a letter a week, writing music for you each week, and making sure that I have to have something done has been absolutely beautiful. It's been a struggle sometimes to balance it with other things, and especially now, as I'll talk about later, I'm figuring out a better way to sort that 
sort that scheduling out as I become more efficient and as I make this a more permanent part of my life. Because that's the way that I would think about a friendship. I would want to invest in it in the same way that I'm investing in this. And I like to treat friendships as creative projects, um, the really, really important ones. And with a creative project, I have to treat that like a job. So this has been beautiful to treat like a job. And it's steadily leaning towards becoming one. Wow, what is that? It is dreadfully late right now, and I should be in bed. So I'm going to do that. I did a lot of blabbering. I thank you for listening if you've made it this far. And I will no doubt <laughs> reel myself in in the future. But for now, I just thought I'd share as much as possible. I hope you're having a wonderful week, and I hope you're well. Much love. We'll see you. Rohan out. I'm going to bed. Okay. Oh, wow. I feel like an old man. Ah. Creo que ella quiere algo. Do that. Hi. I woke up this morning with an idea, and I want to give myself 50 seconds to explore it. During these 50 seconds, I'm going to just speak softly and try to maintain eye contact with you. This is hard because, to me, you are currently a camera, and I'm just wondering how you will feel. Does it feel real? Does it feel artificial? So many things feel artificial. I am curious, so I might ask you again in a few weeks. I might know you, I might be a complete stranger, but either way, it's just you and me for 50 seconds, staring into each other's eyes. I hope you've had a good day. I have a lot of thoughts going on in my head right now, but this has been a good 50 seconds. Thank you. <laughs>